Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Uh, I'm here in Australia and I'm going to show you what I've been working on and give you a little tiny tutorial on them. Well, I'm sure that most of you have seen them anyway if you've seen me on Facebook, but I have been redoing um, the coat hangers. I've been covering the coat hangers with uh, old um, antiques, well, I suppose they're vintage doilies and things, you know, and um, making them look really cool I think I reckon they turned out really well myself I love them like somebody said then why would you hide them in the closet <laughs> but so you could use them to hang on hang something else on like I don't know nice bags or something maybe if you had any nice handbags or something but you could just hang them up and use them just for the for for show can't you now I'm gonna the, the video not video the tutorial I'm going to show you I'm going to try and do it actually as quickly as I can without boring you to tears okay now what I did was where's me bits and pieces here I don't know whether I'll go over the whole thing because I've got some here bits and pieces done so we can just do a bit at a time but I got some I'm not turned on the glue gun yet Sonia okay and the lights just flashing so it's probably not plugged in properly too that's not good. I don't want to get electrocuted. Can somebody ring my husband if I get zapped? <laughs> okay. Now, that was silly, I know. I've turned on glue gun. Normally, I would start off like this. And I will use a bit of this glue because we haven't got time to fiddle around. Now we're waiting for that to get hot. So I get a, get a coat hanger, all right? And I will put on a bit of the fluffy bit over the end, like so. And of course, this is... Um, this glue takes forever to... Well, it won't to dry that's the problem with this okay now you just put it over the end like that and then you get it and you because you want your end to be covered good and then you'll go like that and that will hold it Then when you wrap it you want to come across there like that so it's only just covering but make sure it is because you don't want any gaps now we'll put a little trailer glue up there because I want to put it together nicely so it don't come undone, okay? Now, over the years, I don't know how many of these I've covered. I, you know, because I used to always make different ones to put in the show and that. Um, but this is my, this is my way of doing it. And I'm going to try, I think I'm going to do one that's actually the Y-shaped one. So all we do is we come up along here and we just cover that completely. Now I'm I'm using one that I got out of my cupboard to do this because I've run out of the the wooden ones because I've got another one here I bought three the other day. Hang on. Now look, I tell you what. Once you get to that hole, we can nearly work out for ourselves whereabouts that is going to be that hole. But we need to push something down in there, making the hole a little bit open. So you can figure out there's halfway along there, okay? Because you don't want too many gaps in things, you know. You don't want to put too many gaps in it. Um, it's there, look. We can see it. When you put the thing in the, the thing, when I'm, when I'm talking about the thing, where's the thing? I'll put the thing here. So you're going to put that in there. And when you turn it, the whole, all that will twist around if you're not careful. So, so you just do that and get that, that wrap that continually all the way then <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a little step by step thing here but that's okay because that way I can just finish off this one and show you how I do it um, you get strips of calico and you start off the same way by putting it over the end and then wrapping it now you want to wrap it so it's all the same all the way along you don't pull it in too far because i think i put a bit more wadding in that than what or thicker wadding in that, that than this one maybe not yeah i think i did a bit thicker but you want to make sure that it's all the same size so maybe i've taken that in a little bit too far maybe maybe not but i tore my calico because that's just what i like to do and then i got the effect with this on the um this top bit because i've got a little tiny bit of calico a little skinny piece and excuse all my bits of thread here and I just tore this off like so <clears throat> and to cover the, the top of it this all you do is 
pretty much well the same thing as you did with the as we did with the hanger end of the hanger wooden bit. You just put a bit of glue on. Now if you use hot glue, well that will definitely make it go faster. Actually I haven't been using the hot glue because I was making these out in in the lounge room over the weekend. Remember when I made them? I must have made them on Saturday I think. Yeah. Okay, so now you just get it all over so it's covered and then you're going to wrap it. Now wrapping it is a very important thing because you do not want it to come undone and you do not want the pieces of the, the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the pieces of the hanger itself showing break that off I've got lots of frilly bits haven't I always got frilly bits me you won't let go of me leave, won't leave me alone get off okay so you just want to wrap this really good on an angle so you're putting it part way over what you've just done the piece you've just wrapped you want to go part way over that maybe you'll do something I didn't and that's get rid of all these feathery bits first these bits of stray pieces and you're going to come up around here now it gets a little bit harder to do when you go around the corner because you want to make sure that it sticks so you want to put um, you don't want that going all baggy and hanging off there okay so you want to go really careful around the the corner it doesn't take long to do it's quite good fun actually and the end results definitely worth a little bit of time that you put into it fixing it really nice okay Oh dear, I bet you can't see what I'm doing, eh? <laughs> oh dear, wouldn't that be terrible? Jeez, I'll be really upset if you can't see what I'm doing. I hope I've turned on the, the thing. I think I did. Sometimes it's going to make for two beeps. Sometimes it only does one. How do I know if it's recording or not? Then we're going to tell that. Okay, yes we are. I'm here and you're there and that's good. All that stuff hanging off there. I'll cut this. It's driving me crazy. Okay. I don't think I need the glue gun now. Oh well, I might do. I'm going to do a couple more things, I think. Okay, so we're going to go around and, and just make sure that you glue it, you know. And like I said, the glue gun would be okay, but look, if you're doing it and it's starting to dry too quick, you might get the odd lump, you know, and you do not want the odd lump, you know. That's just not a good thing. A bit of lumpy glue stuck under there, you know, underneath your nice coating it which would probably have to see and then you got that effect like so okay now we're going to finish going down here because we're going to fasten it onto this other one which I don't think I should do that till I wrap my calico I'm just going to show you what you're going to do I'm just going to wrap that around nice and tight and careful okay so you had to put glue right down on the thing I don't know why I did that but anyway we're going to go through this hole here and hopefully I've been able to let me see it down there. Everything itches me when I get in here. Hair, the fluff. I was going to go out today, but it didn't feel too good, so I don't worry about it. I just thought I'll stay home today. Oh, it was re really cold and rain this morning. Now, you pretended I've actually rolled that round there too, okay? That's been the calico, is what I'm talking about. All right, now I can do this because it's mine, I can undo it. But you need to roll the calico first, all right? Roll your calico around first, and then when you get to the bottom of this, you want to take that and put it down, or you can put it on there now, I suppose, and then wrap the calico around it later. We can always do that, can't we? See, that's going to hold your, your little thing in when I twist it around in place. So I can just go and... Oh, there you go. So that, that works too, doesn't it? You never know what you might discover while you're doing a tutorial, eh? And I can actually do that like that. And then when I'm coming along with my calico, I can just cover that over um, as I'm going past that way. All right. Now get all the sticky mess off it. Make sure there's no sticky mess on Right. So now we've done that. And we've actually done this, hey? Eh? Already done. 
Right. Now, you're going to need to go and get something <coughs> doily-ish, you know, because it is made with the doilies. This one I found to be not so much cotton on it. These ones here are more or less cottony. Um, that one there, it is a little cotton one, but it seems to be a little bit shiny. But that doesn't matter, I don't think. I don't think it makes a difference. As long as you've got these nice bits, you know, you can you can do that. Um, it's your thing anyway. You know, you do it the way you want to, but this is how I did mine. Okay, so I got right to the centre of this, and I had to cut the hole a little bit bigger, so I just snipped that. And then I'm just going to put this over the top of it, like that. And then I'm going to get a needle and cotton. Well, I think I'm going to get a needle and cotton. I'm sure I will. Here's one here. The cotton's here. I'll turn off that glue gun, I think. I don't think I need that now. Oh, that's what I said I was going to later. Oh, we won't worry about it. Just unplug it. Okay. Now, I'll do the fluff and crap all over my hands. Now, you will need a needle and cotton because it's a delicate thing. <laughs> supposed to be like a delicate thing. Look at me come covered in fluff and goo. Hang on. Give me a second and I'll have a bath, eh? Give me a second. Let's have a bath. Sorry about the noises. Try and get some of this glue off my hands. If I want to sew something, I don't want to get the thread caught in me in the glue. So I'm not a bit charmed about all this weather. I tell you what, it's just having just enough of this rain here. Um in England, they said the other day there was a heat wave or something. My goodness me. And we're over here freezing the bits. Makes you feel crap, doesn't it, really? It does me. I'm, now the sun's out there shining, see, making a fibber out of me, but it wasn't this morning when I needed to get out. I mean, I can't go now. It's too late in the day. Oh, well, I don't know what time it is, to be honest with you, but it must be about 1 or 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock maybe even, because I usually... I'm fiddling in here late, late of the afternoon sometimes. Okay, now, I do have the biggest mess you ever did see in here, but oh, I know where everything is. <laughs> well, within reason, in what this, what direction to go look. Okay, so now we've threaded our needle. Tried to get some of the glue off me. I didn't believe I got so much glue on me trying to do that small piece. Anyway, so we're going to make a knot. Now, we come up to here, and we want to um, we want to make sure that this is not going to be all skew with. <clears throat> So, I'm, I know I haven't did a um, zoom in on this today, and I'm sorry about that because this is too hard for me to try and work that out now. But I'm going around here, and I'm going to just match all these pieces together till I get to the top bit here, and I've got this like that. And I'm just going to take that because this does stretch. I mean, don't be scared because it does stretch over a bit, and we're going to sew up this end piece, okay? Same, I mean, anybody that's made a, a woolen one or a knitted crochet one or whatever will know that you can you can stretch your, your crochet or your knitting over the over the end of them. If you, you don't want them to be too baggy, but you don't want them to be too tight either. And this is actually not making them too tight, so it's I've already practiced on it earlier. I'm just doing little tiny stitches. I'm picking up over here and over here because I don't want... And I'm going to go right up here to the point of it, where that piece was. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, if it's a bit pointy. <clears throat> Unless I'll bring it down. Let me see what we can do with do with it. Yeah. Might be better than it's sitting out, eh? Everything's like, to me, is all <laughs> learning as I go. <clears throat> Cut some of these stringy bits off. Now, we're going to put... <clears throat> push that over there. And just... Now I've got this under my arm, the rest of the coat hanger, which makes it a lot easier. And I'm hoping that you can't see my big head and look at oh, my, my messy hair. I've mean, got my head in the frame here, maybe. Oh, I hope you see this, because if you don't, you'll not, well, you just won't know that I didn't put it on <laughs> At least I say. Okay, right now I'll go over this side and stitch this up here. Just whatever sort you use, just try and put it, um, you know, make it like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> make it to sort of disguise it a bit. Looks like two little handy bits. Yeah, but that doesn't matter, all like little ears. That doesn't matter, it's all good. So we'll just do a couple of little stitches into the, the calico, okay? Not too many, just go around and put a couple of little stitches in your calico and your um, doily. 
um, just to to give it a, a little bit of security there. It, should, it won't go anywhere, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then we'll do a back stitch and cut that off. Okay, do a stitch, run it through the end there and cut that off there like that. Now, I want to say to everybody that I'm really pleased about the um, response I get from my channel and the amount of people that are subscribing to me is really awesome. Thank you so much. Now, you want this to be in line coming down here. So when you hold it up, you want it to, to not look skew if on the bottom. That's a good word, that skew if, isn't it? <laughs> we can just use that any time. Okay. So... That's pretty good. That's pretty close. And this piece might not be exactly the same when I sew it up. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to sew this end in now. I didn't put a knot in that. Oh dear. And then come on, you can do this you now without mucking it up, Sonia. That's the way. Got all these stringy bits off my calico. Maybe you should clean them up first, but... Okay. I don't want my videos to go too long. I don't want people to go turning me off. <laughs> I might say I've had enough of it. I'm going to switch that off now. Okay, so we're going to sew that up over this end. <clears throat> I hope you can still see what I'm doing. It's not easy to handle the coating. I don't know whether I hit accidentally. My cat was sitting with me the other day. And I don't know whether I went to poke this coating towards her. Because I don't think I hit her with it. Because I would have felt that. But she smacked at it. <laughs> <laughs> she smacked at me as if to say get that out of the road <laughs> you know you're in my way and she wasn't happy at all you know because if I I had stopped crafting out there in the room a really long time ago because the cats wouldn't let me okay because every time I put my stuff up on the table they'd come out there and they'd climb in it and they'd rub themselves in it and roll all over it and I just couldn't stand that they didn't mean any harm, they just loved it, I suppose. It's anything to do with string, it's a cat thing, isn't it? And I do notice that a lot of you ladies out there have got cats as well, <laughs> so you don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so that we've only got two, but it's where we had 20, because um, they're always everywhere. But anyway, so, yeah, she was, she was determined that she wasn't going to let me do this yesterday, and she kept getting on the table, and oh, I, I, moved. I had everything on top of me, on my lap, while I was trying to... I couldn't have put nothing on the table. I had to bring it down onto my lap to do it so she could have the table. We do that, don't we, for <laughs> cats? And then we lay there in the freezing cold in the bedroom and then when you're in bed so they won't get too cold and, you know, you don't want to let them be uncovered, do you, for goodness sake? But anyway, that's what, now that's what I've got done so far there. Now, I might just put a little bit of glue because I want to hold it down. I'm thinking it's got hold of it, but I'll put a little bit of glue here. A little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there because I want it to hang down, okay? But I don't want it to flap up and well, it won't fall back, I don't think, because I've got it to, I've got it sewn down the side there. A little bit of glue underneath it on the calico. And hopefully it won't come from too far through on my lace. We'll see if you're doing it with the glue gun. I don't know. I'm not very good at um, concealing bits of glue, <laughs> so I'm not really good at that now so now we need a piece to go over the top of that now here comes to the part where I do a bit of fiddling but I'll try not to so we've got to have something that comes over the top of that and then I'd like another one on top but I have been using I've felt some of um, oh, a bit of linen on my I had some with some linen on it gee eh not prepared again <laughs> good ones on you now I did put it here somewhere and it's gone and left me. Well, look, I'll tell you what, we'll just do this one nicely and then I can come back. Oh, well, do another one after. This here, now this is look good. We'll put that bit down there. No, because there's not enough of the linen part. So that's what I've been doing. I've been sort of trying to add in. A bit of linen. Oh, that one I didn't. I put some of this Battenberg lace in it. Now, if I, I wouldn't, I won't do that because it's not big enough. It doesn't come down there far enough. So, um, I wanted to sort of show you though how it will decorate up really nice. So, which it will. And I don't know why. <coughs> That's not good. That's got a hole in that bit. I'd have to go fishing through a whole heap of stuff, but. I've shown you now how to put the first bit on there. There's hair. 
we don't want here give them a few and then you can put we'll get some um, bits of doily if I put that one on let me see I'll put that on here and see what happens I'll make a hole okay we'll make a hole in this oh yeah it's got a bit of a hole in it hey and we'll stuff this up, put it <laughs> put it over top of there see it's very very easy isn't it because these things are round and they're sort of and they've got the holes in them so you can just use it that way you know I don't think this is long enough I've got to find something else I'm not happy with that okay now probably I'll be facing the, in the story wait a minute let me see I've got a hole I'm gonna have to just let you trust me on this <laughs> I will put a piece of one of these in there and to do that, I actually um, cut uh, that out. Let me show you. I cut this <clears throat> piece off the corner of one of the um, cloth things that I had. There's underneath, you can see bits of it. And that hair's still here with me. And I just stitched across the top here and or glued both and that way it's not actually on the back it's only on the front well it's front side and then I put the hole in the doily like I showed you and I put that on okay then I added a little doily flower all right and there is my um what is it my, my interpretation of a lace uh, doily vintage doily hanging thing I've got to go and get another piece to put in, in that first before I put the little doily on the top because you sort of want it at different levels like this here, this is really good what I, I was lucky enough that all these went to go together very well it's a little bit shabby but that's the idea you want it to be a bit shabby chic and then you've got this colour one on there and then I had the little one on the top Both that went on both sides and then I had the middle out of the doilies that I'd cut out and I'd put a button on the top of them. I am thinking now I'll do some, put a few bits of beads and that on them just for the pearls, you know. Put a few pearls on a few of them and see what they look like, okay. So thank you everybody for watching and I hope that wasn't too much of a kerfuffly thing that I'm making that. And I'll get back to you after. Bye bye.